In this video, we're going to look at how Harmony Email and Collaboration quarantines malicious attachments in your emails. I have an attacking machine and a victim machine. So let's start by heading over to our attackers machine. On the desktop here, you can see I have a file called CryptoWall. It is a slightly older but well-known piece of malware. I'm going to compose an email to my target and attach this piece of malware. This malware will attempt to encrypt and ransomware the target machine. I create my email, I click send. Now let's flick over to our victims machine and we can see that no email has been delivered, which means it's been successfully blocked. Now I'm gonna head over to Microsoft's quarantine and we can see here that Microsoft Office 365 Mail's Defender has quarantined this particular email. In this instance, it is a known piece of malware and it has a common signature. So we'd expect it to get blocked quite easily. One useful thing to know is that Harmony Email and Collaboration takes the quarantine information from Microsoft and includes it in our own consolidated report. If you head over to portal.checkpoint.com and log in as an administrator and click User Interactions, Configuration and select Send Daily Quarantine Reports to Users. And if you scroll down and find Email Quarantines by Microsoft, you can see here that we can include that information into our quarantine report. Pro tip, don't forget to turn off the Microsoft quarantine report. Failing to do this will result in the user getting two quarantine reports, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. Now, if we head over to events in the top left hand corner, we can see here that Microsoft successfully blocked this under malware. If we scroll down through this, we can see the full analysis that Checkpoint would have performed against this system had it been delivered through Defender. Now that was a little too easy. So as an attacker, I'm gonna go back to my machine and I'm going to try and obfuscate and hide this attack in something that's a little bit more sophisticated. So I'm gonna use a simple packing tool and I'm gonna call this ransomware file invoice.executable. And then I'm gonna quickly rename this invoice November 2023 PDF. I attach that file and click send. Now we can see here an email has been delivered, but this is not the original email. It is a quarantine email that has been delivered by Harmony Email and Collaboration. If we head back to the administrative portal, we can see here in the security event that email has been blocked. Let's click to investigate further. And we can see here that Microsoft Defender has considered this particular email to be clean, yet Checkpoint has correctly identified this as malware. I wish to investigate this further, so I'm gonna click on the name of the attachment and I want to view the report. Now that we can see here that a malicious verdict has been given and that this particular piece of malware would have been considered critical. In this breakdown, you can see that we've analyzed this malware and that original file would have spawned off multiple other files that would have caused malicious behavior on that system. This is a perfect example of Checkpoint's threat emulation in action. Despite that attachment being obfuscated, Checkpoint was still able to recognize enough of that malware's DNA to make a positive check against malware. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching.